Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so in this video I just want to show you quickly how to add a path to your environment variable in Windows 8. And to do that, all you gotta do is just, if you're using uh, Windows 8.1, you have your little icon down here. And just right click on that and um, open your command prompt. And just to show you here, I'm going to be adding phantom JavaScript to my path. And right now, if I, um, if I type phantom JavaScript, it's not going to work. So Windows doesn't know how to handle phantom JavaScript. So if we add it to the path, uh, it will then be able to handle that. So what you want to do, I have a 223 inch monitor, so the best thing to do is use a um, shortcut to open up your charms menu, menu, which is the Windows button plus C for charms. Um, that way you don't have to drag your cursor across two 23 inch monitors if you have a dual monitor set up. Um, and in here, um, you do want to go ahead and go to settings and then control panel. When you're here, click on system and then go to system again and go to advanced system settings and then environment variables. And go ahead and scroll down on this bottom system variables box here. And we're going to be looking for path. Click edit once you have that highlighted. And then uh, make sure there's no spaces here and that there's a semicolon after whatever is on this path. So in this case, um, it's Python scripts and there's a semicolon. So that's exactly the way I want it to be. Now let's go ahead and go uh, C colon forward slash. My phantom JavaScript is on projects and then phantom. Uh, it's in a phantom uh, JS folder. So just go ahead and close that off with a semicolon. And ultimately all you're doing is just putting the path to the folder that contains uh, whatever sort of executable uh, you need it to be. So if it's Python, it would be your C colon and Python, whatever version you have. Or in my case, uh, just you know, Phantom JavaScript works. So if I go ahead and click OK. Uh, another short, shortcut I just showed you guys is uh, just right clicking on the, the Windows button and doing the command prompt. So now if we type Phantom JavaScript, the computer should now know how to handle it. So you see the Phantom JavaScript is now executing. And the reason why is because Windows searched for the path and said, you know, Phantom JavaScript, what is that? So it searches its path, and if it says, oh, this, this executable matches Phantom JavaScript, this is a Phantom JavaScript program, and, and it executes properly. So uh, thank you for watching. That's how you add something to your path.